Do you like horses? <laughs> Hi guys, this is Max from HighOnAndroid.com, where we get on Android every day. Anyway, I uh, just wanted to do a quick video on how I made my new intro. And I wanted to just sort of put this in my video. I actually learned it on YouTube from this guy called uh, uh, Ross Plaskow. Uh, he's actually an animator, he made cartoons. but um, Let me um, do a tutorial, basic animation. You'll need uh, Adobe Photoshop and uh, Adobe After Effects for this. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, just make a 1080p, 1920 by 1080, all right? You can do 4K, but I'm just gonna do this. Um, so make a new Photoshop here, and I'm just gonna um, do Control-All, or you know the Apple key if you're using Mac. Select all, and I'm gonna go ahead and fill it with white. Um, just because that way I can see what I'm doing. Hold on, let me adjust this here. All right, so we're gonna just make a character here, or you can make letters or anything. The most important thing is you need to make different layers. Um, you'll see the layers on the right here. Um, so you could be different parts for each layer. All right, so I'm gonna use a tool here, uh, rectangular cool tool. Um, let's just go with some ellipse tool. And this is just basically, I'm gonna make a body here, all right? That's the body, and let's make the head. You'll see, um, you'll see, it automatically makes new layers. You can double click it and type body, head, and let's make some arms. It's almost like a very bad version of Android. All right, I'm gonna actually duplicate this. You can duplicate layers and use the move tool move it over here so I'm gonna move these arms closer also the head I'm gonna put it in there and let's make some uh, legs also so go back to the tool I, I'm just, just making this completely um, just making it here right, let me duplicate that layer move it over here all right so we have a figure uh, somewhat here and I'm gonna go ahead and name this right leg. And you can also use this eye tool here to see which one um, you actually have. So this is the left leg. Name it all um, so you know when you um, animate later, you'll know which parts these things are. Right arm. All right. And left arm. Now, left arm. But you can imagine that, you know, this is what I did with the Android figure. I actually made uh, all the different parts and then animated. So that's it. That's oh uh, wait. Let's put some eyes. Forgot. And I'm just gonna make some eyes. Whoops. Let's change this to black. Right. And I'm gonna duplicate this also. And I'm gonna use the move tool. Move it to the right. So we have eyes. So left eye. Right eye. Now you can also animate the eyes, the mouth, everything, but I'm just gonna give you basics of it. Today we're just gonna animate this figure and do it. Now when you're done with uh, your thing, I'm just gonna leave it in my photos here, label it uh, test character. Make sure you save it in PSD format, which is just basically the regular format. And also get rid of the color fill because you want uh, the background to be transparent. I'm gonna go ahead and save it again. Oops. Save. All right, you can exit out of there and go ahead and open Adobe After Effects. All right. Um, if you don't have Adobe stuff, you can go to Adobe Cre Creative Cloud. I think if you're a student, you can get all of it for like uh, 50 bucks a year or something like that. I'm gonna start a new composition, new project. All right. And this one I'm gonna do 1920 by 1080. And you can choose your frame rate also. I'm just gonna put it for 30 because that's what I'm using right now to record this. So um, that's pretty much it. Hit okay. All right, here's your new composition over here, comp one, all right? 
You can go ahead and double click here to bring in um, your file, the test character. So I'm gonna go ahead and import. And also make sure it's set to composition, editable layer styles, hit okay. Actually, you know what? You didn't need to make a new composition. So we'll just work on this. Double click on test character. And this will give you all of the different layers, all right? So we have the body here and go ahead and click on it. And if you press R, it will allow you to rotate, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it. Right now you can see uh, it's, it's rotating on the right side. It looks all weird and the arms are not following. All right, you can press Control Z or Apple key and Z to go back to whatever it is. So it's gonna set it back to zero. And what I'm gonna do, um, you can set anything attached to the body. So let's say I want all of this attached to the body. All right, the right eye. Oh, actually, you know what? The eyes, you could set it to the head. Sorry, where's the head? So set, that, set each part where it's supposed to connect. So left arm, it's gonna be body. Right arm, body. Uh, right leg, it's gonna connect to the body. Left leg, connect to the body. Um, the head is also connected to the body. All right, and now when I move it, the whole thing will move. All right, but you'll see that it's, it's rotating on the anchor point. So what you can do is go ahead and select body, hit the Y key. Now you can move the anchor point, all right, wherever you want the body to move around. Let me try in the middle what happens there. Okay, that's fine. I'll put it in the middle. Now you can go to these different parts, make sure they're pivoting on the right side. So let's go ahead and try. Uh, I'm not going to mess with the eye, but the arms I'm going to mess with. Go to select uh, left arm, hit R. Um, and you can go ahead and try to rotate it. See how it's rotating all weird? So you got to change the anchor point. So hit Y. We're going to change the anchor point for the left arm here. All right, so later on, we can move it like this, animate it. Um, do the same thing with uh, right arm. Select, hit Y, set it over here. Make sure it's the way you want it to. So you can do waving. Go to the right leg, also same thing. Hit uh, Y, move the anchor point here. Hit R, go ahead and move it like that. And also the same thing with a left leg. You can hit R and then hit Y, change the anchor point. All right, so now it's moving. Also, if you wanna move the head, different way um, you can also hit R here hit Y and oops yeah hit Y sorry hit Y and I'm gonna move it right here so when I move it I can move it sideways now since the body is attached to the head or head is attached to the body when you move the body it's gonna move everything so that's where all the relationship for the parent is over here. That's what we're doing. All right, so we're ready to go. And this is your timeline. All right. Um, you can go ahead and change the position of it. Go to body, hit P. This will allow you to change position. So I'm gonna go to the left, start over here, go down. All right, we're gonna start in this position. The most important thing, we're gonna have to set a stopwatch. Um, so set a beginning point. So um, this is the beginning. So I'm going to go to uh, all the bo main body parts. Um, I'm going to go to all the different parts, actually, that I'm going to move later. And I'm going to press, let's start with, uh, let's start with the left arm. All right, hit R. And you'll see rotation. Make sure you hit this button. This will start you in this position before you rotate it. And then go ahead and hit P. Also, this will start you in the, oh, well, actually, you know what, position. Position you don't have to worry about for, for the left arm because it's already attached to the body. All right, so do this, go to, uh, go, make sure rotation is set on for all the legs and arms. Also, if you want move the head later, also set the rotation there. Uh, go to the body and hit on position here. All right, and then hit R also and start here. All right, this is the starting point. Now let's go into like five seconds out um, let's say you want to move the body. So I'm going to go to body here. Go ahead and hit P. And now I can move it. So I'll move it somewhat uh, to the right and a little bit high. 
and maybe I'll rotate the body. So I'm gonna hit R, and we're gonna go ahead, maybe do a flip. All right, start there. Now that's done, and you can see we just animated a little jump. All right, now go, go ahead and hit Shift, and try to align it with this uh, blue diamond thing here. This is our next move here. And if you want to move the uh, all the arms and stuff, so it also animates that, whoops. Go ahead and hit the left arm and hit R, and you can go ahead and rotate it. So now it's flying. And also for the right arm, I'm gonna go ahead and let it fly. And the right leg, I'll make some funky things here. All right, let's see, uh, let's see, let's try that. All right. So now, when we're animating, all your legs are moving, and look at that. It looks like a, almost a ballet. And then now you'll have to go to the next position, let's say five seconds later, and go to the body, and I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it even more. I wanna go in that position. Uh, select body, then P. This will give you position, so I'm gonna move forward about the same. Uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and lower a little bit so it's coming down now and You can also mess with the arms also here. So I'm gonna go like this like this uh, Like this Like this no All right now it's falling. So let's start here. Now. It's doing some kind of ballet animating Whoa I'll go to another five seconds and maybe I'll have it uh, move. So position here, I'm gonna go ahead and move it a uh, little bit down, a little bit to the right, since it's moving. Hit R, and now I can also rotate it a little bit more there. And I'm just gonna leave the, the arms alone. You can always leave it alone if you don't wanna move it. All right, and then last position at 20 seconds, I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it back to zero. All right, and also I'm, I'm gonna do some funky Left arm, uh, right leg, there you go, and left leg, nope, right, right leg. I gotta land it like that. All right, it's gonna be, a ball I don't know, I, I, didn't, I didn't want it to be a ballet thing, but. So we're jumping, jumping, and, whoops. Well, I messed up something here, so it's now it's just rotating this way, so. You can always delete these, just select and hit delete key and start over. But I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Sort of weird animation. You'll have to play with this and then you'll figure it out. But that's the basics of it. And then let's say you wanna put your logo when, when it's done there. Uh, let me just go ahead and put some logos in there. So I have an image of my logo uh, over here, high on Android uh, PNG file. Now the logo is way too big, so I'm gonna go here, and you can press S, all right? You can always scale stuff. Uh, I'm gonna set it to like 50%, it's too small, too big. And then go ahead and hit P to change position. I'm gonna move it all the way to the left, right? And I'm not gonna move it until this guy starts moving, so I'm gonna actually, um, I'm gonna set position, so hit the timer button, so it will start it there. And now I'm gonna start it uh, I want to make sure it ends right here, all right? Um, so I'm going to move uh, the position here to, uh, here we go. I'm going to just bring it out, just a simple logo. I'm, I'm just doing this. This is not my final logo, but you do that, and now it's following my ballerina new character guy. That's pretty much it, and, and um, you know, we've made our uh, test character logo. I'm just gonna save it, and you can go ahead and export it. Also, you could you could look at it. Um, you could do a RAM preview. There we go. It looks nice and crisp, right? It looks pretty good, so I'm gonna export it. And you know, I just like having a copy of it in file. And go ahead, and um, you can choose uh, Adobe Media Encoder. And the settings I use, I just use very high. Uh, Target bit rate 50 and 60, two pass. That way, you know it's very high res, and I can just pull it into any video editing later. Or you can just pull it straight into Adobe Premiere. But 
I like having a file here. So I'm just gonna set this uh, here, test character. Hit okay, start. And that's pretty much it. So you can sort of practice this method. The, the most important part is obviously working uh, on your character. All right, guys, uh, it is done. Let's go ahead and take a look real quick. Wow, that looks really good. Um, very smooth, like it. All right, I messed up the animation at the end. It's supposed to keep turning, but it turns the other way. Um, but you know, I just want to show you the basics of it, hopefully. This will help you make your own animation. All right, that's pretty much it. Have a great day, folks, and as always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.